Alright everyone, welcome back to Life is Strange, where we're learning more about the time rewind, now it's fucking with her head. Sir? Oh, hello Max. I hope this isn't about the alleged gun incident. Alleged? Nathan did have a gun. Have you talked to him yet? Yes, he's deeply upset about this accusation. I don't blame him. Once I have all the facts, we'll talk. For the moment, focus on your schoolwork. I can't focus when I'm scared. Please don't say that. There's nothing to be scared of at Blackwell Academy. Our head of security is overseeing a new era of campus safety. I saw Mr. Madsen hassle Kate Marsh yesterday. Wait, wait. Do you see a pattern here, Max? Probably not the same one you see. It's very easy for you to instantly accuse people of doing terrible things. Nathan, Mr. Madsen, who's next? Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a meeting. That guy is a bit of a prick. Hello, Zach. Sup, Max? It's weird to not see you without your camera. I'm always taking pictures with my eyes. I bet. As long as you don't talk to everybody about all that shit with the sext in Victoria. I won't. That's what Victoria wanted. Yeah. I noticed she kind of set up her own drama. Even if it fucks her over. Weird. She doesn't have to, though. That's what I don't get at all. She's hot, rich, talented. What more does she need? Anyway, see you at the game Friday, Max. Blackwell sure takes its swimming seriously. But otters are cute. Look at these trophies. Gotta give it up for those Bigfoots. They do stomp. <laughs> that snow was so insane. Seriously. Hello, climate change. Alright then. Excuse me, Mr. Madsen? I know things got a little heated yesterday in Chloe's room. Was that really your reefer? Yes, it was. You know that marijuana is almost legal in Oregon. I can get it at Blackwell. Are you gonna bust me now, Mr. Madsen? Even I'm not that much of an asshole. And I am sorry about yesterday. I was wrong, but upset. Cannabis is not a big deal to you. But it has been to Chloe. You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. What about Kate? You step between us at a pretty bad time. She's another matter entirely. Kate hasn't done anything wrong. Max, this isn't just about Kate Marsh. Hmm. My concern is for the safety of all Blackwell students, including you. That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. Hmm. I don't know. I still have time. I could go see Warren playing mad scientist in the lab. I saw Victoria and her friends shopping for the party. Sure, oh, where is the me. science I lab then? Some weed from Nathan. Got back so some you room. can't help me? I'm trying, but you have to understand my position. Hey. Just leave me alone. Okay then. Chemistry hey, stuff. Bring me the brain, Igor. <laughs> hey Warren. Are you okay? You look thoughtful yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer. Perfect timing. I need help with this chemical experiment. Oh boy. Asking me for help means you're screwed. I have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Dr. Max. 
I have a vision. Go diem. Go diem? That's the worst pun I've ever heard. Yet Max has spoken. Sodium it is. Damn. Zip. No. Ah. Can't be that hard. So we want it to blow up in his hey, face, alright? Maxwell's asking me if have daddy. I'm not sure why you're letting me decide your fate, but go potassium. Potassium it shall be. If this works, you get a free hug. It's gonna go boom. Weird science. Yes, I am a scientist. Fuck. Yes, I am a scientist. Fuck. Okay. Howdy, Brooke. Hi, Max. Making your daily rounds? <laughs> I need to know if you can help me with a potassium experiment. No can do, Max. I'm all about robotics, not chemistry. Give me a drone over a beaker. I'm helping Warren with his latest experiment. Oh, I guess he needed a neophyte assistant so he wouldn't be threatened. But you came to his rescue anyway. Apparently it's my nature. <laughs> Yet Warren ignores the experts right in front of him. Not that he would ask me for help anyway. How is your drone? Miss Grant busted me flying it over the parking lot. She's all jacked up about surveillance bullshit. Like I was spying on Warren's new car. You already planted a GPS on him? I borrowed the one he has on you. I hate to hit and run, but... Don't let me get in your way. So long. Alright, then. It's an aquarium, just a poster. Hey, I can't... I, I think all the way around. Alright. Excuse me, Max. Can you come over here? Sure. You look worried. Is everything okay? Sorry to bother you, Mr. Jefferson. I'm only bothered when you avoid turning in photos. But you know this. So what can I do for you, Max? Just between you and me? I'm worried about Kate Marsh. That's no secret. Word on the street is that you and Kate had a little confrontation with our security chief yesterday. I stepped in between David Madsen barking all up in Kate's face about something. She doesn't deserve that. Of course not. <laughs> Mr. Madsen isn't the most gentle soul. Do you have proof he instigated the situation? My word isn't good enough? <sighs> the one time I choose not to take a picture. Always take the shot. My number one rule of photography. Mm, and yeah. Max, I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. I assume you know about this viral video? Everybody knows. That's why I wanted to see you. Kate is being Maybe humiliated. Maybe I should have taken, yeah, I should have taken the photo with that. Brought this hey. on herself. She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? Yes, I talked to her on the phone today. She needs friends and support now. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. I miss Rachel too. But think about yourself, Max. Principal Wells told me about what you said happened in the bathroom. Hmm. It did happen. Nathan Prescott had a gun in the girl's bathroom yesterday. This is a serious accusation, Max. So you don't believe me? I would never make something like this up. I hope so, Max. But it's easy to point fingers. If Mr. Madsen claims you might be a pot dealer as he did, should I believe him? Listen, should I... Excuse me, Max. Hello? Yes? Uh, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. Hmm. Well now. Make me beautiful, Hayden. Bo. 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 
Dana, you are out of control. Not now, Max. I'm contemplating right. shit. Show me the love. How do I look, Taylor? You look like an Excellent. Yeah. Hmm. Do you think Max will be pissed we're sitting at her desk? Oh, better be quiet, Victoria. We have a master snitch and liar here. Did you think we were best friends forever or something? Not at all, Victoria. Max is such an attention whore. You would know. Can I sit down now? Oh, please do. Take a selfie of this moment. Yeah, Max. So I won't forget you. Uh... Assholes. <laughs> okay, why is David taking photos of Kate? Now this is so wrong and weird. Guess get a photo. What up, Max? Hey, Warren. I saw Kate earlier, and her eyes were puffy from crying. Mm. Kate has a lot on her plate. I didn't know what to say, and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, beat it. Everybody else, please sit we'll down. We have a lot to cover today, <laughs> and so little time as usual. I see all the usual suspects here. Oh. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody has seen Kate Marsh by now. <laughs> she... Not feeling good. Sounds like you're giggling about a video gone viral. I guess Kate will miss class now. Maybe it involves a student? I'm worried about her. I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot out all over the world for people to judge. No Sis. smartphones in class, Max. Put that away. <laughs> Usually, people need something to judge, so they never take a good look at themselves. We can thank reality TV for some of that. In the end... It's cool that Mr. Jefferson published his own little book of photo tips. Speaking of participation, there are a few souls here who have yet to enter a photo in the contest. Like Max Caulfield, for example. Who I know can't wait to enter, right? I'm sure you read the syllabus like it was a Harry Potter book, so you <laughs> must know today we're studying Hero Skiro. That beautiful word about the contrast between light and dark. The shadow play that gives photography such visual power. It's basic yin and yang. Black and white images are effective precisely because of their contrast. Interesting. Although we don't technically see in my No! Some crazy shit is going down at the girl's dorm! Zachary, do not come into my class like that ever again. Listen, everybody remain seated. Dismissed. <laughs> Defeated, good sir. Oh no. Kate! No! She can't die. She can't. Not again. Not now. I have to try something. I won't be able to rewind again and again. That's a good point. Oh, what? Keep going, Max. You can do it. Whoa, this is trippy. This is really trippy. Go, go, go. <laughs> OK. 
Come on, you can do it. Push through. People are gonna be like, the hell? Yes. This is really, really weird, man. So trippy. Stop time now. Ugh. Oh. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now. It won't work. I don't have any power. Now I have to do this by myself? Max, seriously, don't come near me. I will jump. Okay, okay. I'm right here. Kate, please. Oh, Max, I know you want to help me. I love that you stepped up to David, but it doesn't matter now. Nothing matters. You matter, and not just to me. I do want to believe that. Kate, your life is still yours, and we can get through this together. Let me help, like I helped by erasing all that crap people wrote on your room slate. I'm glad to hear you worry about me. That makes me feel better. Of course I worry. You're my friend, Kate. I did feel better talking to you on the phone. I always feel like you really listen. Kate, please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. That's your story now. How can I trust you? What about this morning when I needed help? You told me to do nothing. Kate, I'm gathering proof that Nathan Prescott drugged you. And you're not the only victim. So you have to help me take Nathan Ooh. down. Nathan Prescott? That makes sense. He's a scumbag. You have proof now? Soon. Then straight to the police. Think of it like we're cleansing Blackwell. You do have my back, Max. That's the first time I've felt hopeful in a week. Good. We all need to have each other's backs. So, I want you to come with me now. Please, you don't have to do this. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up. Uh, unless I put myself to sleep. And then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. I'm already on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. Kate, this is our chance to beat the bullies. That's the only way we can win against them. Can we really, Max? I don't believe in miracles anymore either. Now I do. You're part of the reason why. If you come down with me, I can tell you more. You're such a good person, Max. Even if you're full of crap. <laughs> but I'll come with you. You're Victory. my friend. Forever. Da da da. <coughs> hug on it? No! Nobody cares about me! Nobody! What about your mother, Kate? You'll destroy her. She doesn't care about a video. That was a hard one to think she about. She loves you. You don't know my mother. At all. She already thinks Satan has me on the fast track to hell. Let's prove it. No! Kate, please stop. Listen, this isn't the end, Kate. There's no way God doesn't have big plans for you here. Nice try, Max. But God put me on this roof. Come to me. All of you I remember that because it was written down in one of her books. Rest. Matthew 11, 28. I can't believe you quoted one of my favorite passages. Like I said, I Photographic memory, buddy. I know this passage means a lot to you.
Damn, I'm good. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. What are you talking about? You saved me from talking in class. Well, that took an interesting turn. Now, I know today was difficult for everybody, but I'm so proud of the way Blackwell pulled together to save a young girl's life. Of course, you're quite a hero for getting Kate to come down, Max. I didn't do much. She's modest. Like a real hero. Yeah, real hero. As principal of Blackwell Academy, I take my duties seriously. I take the well-being of every student more seriously. He should take his chin's what shape more seriously. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen, as our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not. And that is indeed your responsibility. Mr. Jefferson, I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through. But Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Sucks to be you, buddy. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Does she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please. Tell us everything. Mm. Oh, that's a tough one. Oh. I want to take that prick down, but I don't like the security guard either. All I know is that Kate was at a party and Nathan dosed her. She got wasted and kissed some boys on a viral video without a clue. I dosed her? <laughs> without a clue. Have you seen the video? Whatever. Kate was loaded and You're a liar. The field. You told Kate you took her to the emergency room. I said I was going to take her to the ER. She sobered up eventually. Bullshit. Something happened to her and you know it. How about we talk about you waving a gun in the girl's hey, bathroom? that's total slander. I could sue you and this school so fast. I already have a personal lawyer. Careful, Mr. Prescott. I have been told of this alleged gun incident, and I have to admit that the video in question was sent to me by multiple sources. Including me. And since Mr. Prescott does appear prominently in the video and was responsible for the party, I have no choice but to suspend him until Wrecked. further notice. Whatever. See you in court. Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and student just tried to kill herself. They don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. I'd like to be with my family. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me, but... I think I can use my power again. Hmm. Oh, that's actually a really tough one. You know, there's no proof that he did that. What's proof that he probably did? Uh, uh, oh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I could, you know, I'm going to end the episode on that. And, yeah. Wait, well, actually, I don't know. There might be not much left to the episode. You know what? The sooner I sign this bullshit paper, the sooner I can get out of here. I'm going to wait. I'm going to... Actually, no, the security guy, he wasn't... <sighs> All right, we're going to go with it. That's really tough. Well, I think we know less now than when we started. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. Actually, oh yeah, I can't rewind. I know this has been a stressful day. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank yeah. you for coming in. 
Okay. I couldn't even believe it was happening. It was literally slow motion as I grabbed her hand. And then I could feel her grabbing mine. Max, that was the greatest thing I've ever seen. Ever! You reached out, she reached out, hugs, tears, applause, like a superhero. <laughs> Wait, look at me. I'm a mess. You're glowing. Seriously, a human halo. I'm pretty sure you earned your wings today. I'm still worried about Kate. She did try to kill herself. <laughs> All over a video. Viral is the right word. Like a disease. So you watched it? Just one. And a half times. Oh, come on. Warren, I don't mean to sound weird, but there's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. <laughs> so, what do you think is really happening? What the hell is this? Snow again? No? The weather confirms this weird day. <sighs> Feel that chill. Oh, it's an Max, eclipse. there was no eclipse scheduled today. I would know. I would. Um, I believe you, Warren. I believe snow anything. Snow and now an eclipse. Oof. It's one hell of a weird week. Oh, here we go. Well, I think that's the end of this chapter. Looks like that's it. Oh? Maybe not? I really love this game so far though. It's um... Oh, so many plot twists. Oh, it's this fucker. Oh! Oh!
Well, yeah, that, that's <clears throat> that's it for episode two of Life, uh, of Life is Strange, Out of Time. So, um, what do I think of the game so far now? I'm more confused than I was after uh, chapter one. There definitely was some, uh, definitely some plot intensity. So I'm really curious to see how my decisions are going to inflict the next chapter. Especially uh, saving Kate and having Frank take the gun. I'm curious to see how those play out. And especially how uh, my result on uh, the paper signing at the end. That was a tough choice. I, I was very considering uh, mentioning uh, David, but I want to fucking just like punch Nathan in the face, so I went with him. But, um, yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna let the credits roll. I'm gonna mute my mic. I'm gonna get up and stretch. And I hope you enjoyed this uh, this bunch of episodes. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.